China is the largest supplier for both fuel oil and food for North Korea. The Korean regime is in a very harsh climate. It's bitterly cold in the winter. They have a big problem with flooding in the summer. So they don't grow enough of their own food. So they're very vulnerable. I'm Dave Danoon, and I'm the director of the NYU Center on U.S.-China Relations. China has the leverage to cut those things off. The problem is that if they did that, the regime would collapse, and then there would probably be hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of Koreans who would walk across the Yalu River and come into China. The Chinese don't want that. In an earlier period, there was an ideological affinity and closeness between North Korea and China. Now that China is more pragmatic, they're less uh, willing to cooperate with North Korea, but they're worried about a North Korean collapse. So I would say it's the collapse of uh, the government, the possibility of a large number of refugees, the possibility of uh, political chaos that is the biggest concern. Because it's the possibility of a blow up that could not only lead to war on the Korean Peninsula, but war uh, between the US and China.